Jehoiakim had been king of Judah for only three years, when the king of Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar, attacked Jerusalem. King Nebuchadnezzar conquered the holy city and took many sacred objects from the temple and took them home with him to add to the treasures kept in the house of the king's false god. In addition to the sacred treasures, the conquering army took many prisoners along with them when they left Jerusalem. King Nebuchadnezzar commanded his chief of staff to bring into his palace young captives who could serve in his court. These young men needed to be strong, healthy, good-looking, and well-educated. To show his favor to these young men, and to keep them well-fed, the king ordered that they receive food and wine each day that was prepared in his royal kitchens. Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah were four of the young men chosen, all of whom were from the tribe of Judah. The chief of staff renamed them with Babylonian names. Daniel was called Belteshazzar, Hananiah was called Shadrach, Mishael was called Meshach, and Azariah was called Abednego. Even though Daniel was selected to serve King Nebuchadnezzar, he wouldn't eat the food from the king's kitchens because it was forbidden by God. To refuse the king's good will was a bold and potentially dangerous move for Daniel, but the chief of staff liked him. While he was willing to let Daniel eat different food, he worried that this diet would cause Daniel to become unhealthy. He said to Daniel, the king will kill me if you get weak and sick. Daniel spoke with the attendant who had been appointed by the chief of staff to look after Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Please test us for 10 days on a diet of vegetables and water, Daniel said. At the end of the 10 days, see how we look compared to the other young men who are eating the king's food. Then make your decision in light of what you see. The attendant agreed to Daniel's suggestion and tested them for 10 days. At the end of the 10 days, Daniel and his three friends looked healthier and stronger than the other young men who had been eating the king's food. After this, the attendant fed the four young men only vegetables and water. Because the young men's decision honored God's law, the Lord blessed them with wisdom and understanding. Daniel was given the special ability to interpret dreams. When the training period ordered by the king was completed, the chief of staff brought all the young men to King Nebuchadnezzar. No one impressed the king as much as Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, so they were brought into the royal service. Whenever the king consulted them in any matter requiring wisdom and balanced judgment, he found them ten times more capable than any of the magicians and enchanters in his entire kingdom.